All right, I have got this trammed in and running true. I wanted to give a, a little update on this base plate. You know, I've been piecing together uh, five minutes and 20 minutes over the past few weeks to get this installed in between work and my own life schedule. But I am fixing to tram this in here within the next few minutes. I went ahead and fabbed up, well, this is one of 10 T-nuts that I made that work well with my table. So this is a 14 millimeter T-slot. The critical dimension here, I, I modeled this off of other T-slots that I really like that I got with my M-lock vise. But this dimension here is 13.9 millimeters. Um, I ran it in control uh, when I machined it, and this 13.9, it's a little plus actually, but it fits in really nice with, with uh, not a lot of slop. So I've used this little magnetic, extended magnetic uh, pen here, or whatever you want to call it, and I've got all of the, the T nuts except for this one right here. The T-nuts in there, well, you can't see it. But I've, I've got all the T-nuts in place. I went ahead and used all eight. Before I put it on this table, I cleaned the table very well. Um, I stoned it with a fine stone. I ensured that the mill was level. And then I ended up s sweeping in the table on each of these portions of the table and it's running true. I was a little scared actually. It's running true both in X and in Y. Uh, but I was very happy to see that. Didn't even think of that when I bought this. Uh, but it's it's uh, running true. Now the, the threads that I bought to use with these T-nuts. This is an M10 socket cap screw. And the length of the threads is 30 millimeters. And it fits perfectly in here. It fits that what this well. The eight mil that I, um, I think a few comments said that, and even I thought that would be good. Eight mil is just too small, but the ten is perfect. When I went in here, um, measured the counter bore, measured the hole, and then went to my reference sheet. Um, it's just a little bit small actually for ten, and that's even better from what they call out. But as you can see, it slides in there well and then picks up the threads just perfectly. All right, well you guys all know how to how to sweep in a or tram in a vise. That's my plan here. I'm gonna I'm gonna tram this in X. I'm gonna double check in Y. I'm I'm just gonna loosely fit this in here. Then I'm gonna throw in the vise that I bought from Silver CNC, and then I'm going to sweep the vise and see how it compares to when I sweep it in X here. Um, the way things are going tonight, I think it's it should line up, fingers crossed, it should line up uh, perfectly well, but ultimately, well, let's just hope it all lines up well. I, I wouldn't want to have to uh, change this with each. I mean, that's the whole point, right? You don't want to have to change the, the tram. So it should it should work out well. All right, I have got this trammed in and running true, at least this vise here. I started by tramming in the the base, then I threw the vise on and went through, you know, I, I compared the vise to see if it was still um, trammed in on the side position, the middle, and then the right. 
And each time I moved the vise, I got a different result. Okay. So then I decided to throw in this call it vise. This is how I'm going to be running it. You know, I'm going to be running my roughing off here. I'll end up with a one inch diameter that it'll throw into here to, to, uh, to finish my, my final op. I think one, two, and then third ops here on this particular product I'm working on. Anyway, once I put in both, then um, it was out of tram. So meaning to say, and I don't, this could just be me of course, but for me, it makes a difference. If I pull this out, and tighten it up, this will be out of tra tram. So I've got this trammed in with it, this in. So f for my situation, it seems as though I need to have that in here. Again, um, somebody out there is probably laughing their head off. Uh, Silver CNC did not uh, send an installation guide. They didn't send anything, any information. The only information, excuse me, the only information provided is whatever they've printed, all right? Uh, on the machine, you know, uh, or on these parts, what to torque it at. I, I called them. I didn't call them. I contacted them, asked them if they had an installation guide. They said it's in process. Well, that's okay. I figured it out myself.